Hey, what's going on guys? Chad here with Greenlight Shooting and welcome to this new review video. So I've been absolutely stoked about this product and I'm excited to do a review on it. Uh, today we're talking about the Alien Gear Shapeshift Modular Holster System. This thing just came out. I think it's out to the public now, but uh, anyways, it's, it's brand spanking new and I have to say, I'm insanely impressed by it. Uh, I will admit when I first got it, it was a lot to take in, man. There's a lot of pieces, there's a lot of stuff to kind of figure out, but once you figure out how to use it, it's seriously revolutionary. <laughs> uh, so let's talk a little bit about what we're dealing with here. Basically the idea is that it's a modular holster system, right? So it comes with a couple different pieces. So for instance, we've got like this double clip inside the waistband uh, backer. These are all neoprene, super breathable. And then we've also got this one, which is just like an appendix carry. Uh, so it gives you those different options. And you'll notice this little, you'll notice this little piece right here. Uh, this is how you attach different shells. And uh, so the different shells are what fit different guns. This is a shell, for instance. So we have one for a Glock 19 here, and we have one for a Springfield XD. Yes. So that means I can super easily just switch the shell between going uh, with the double clip backer or the appendix backer. I can also switch, you know, if I just want to carry the, the Glock one day and the next day I just want to carry the XDS, all I have to do is switch out these uh, shells, which is really, really cool. Um, in addition to these two backers, we also have the uh, Alien Gear Alien Head Paddle Holster. So this is a pretty set, sweet setup if you want to go outside the waistband. You can also do, uh, this one is like just a belt style. We can also do uh, like a loop or whatever if you don't want to use the paddle. I just like the paddle because Alien Head's cool. So these holsters can be configured in four different ways. Uh, it can be done in the inside the waistband setup like we talked about here. You can do an, uh, an appendix setup right here. Um, you can do an over the waistband with a paddle. Or you can also do an over the waistband slide on the belt. Uh, and finally, there is one other option where you can actually take something like this here and you can mount this to any surface. You can mount it to your car, you can mount it to a wall, to a, a bed frame, whatever you want. And then uh, you can just always have a, a, a shell attached to this thing. So, you know, if you're in the car for a long drive, you can unclip yourself from the, uh, the backer really quick, clip it onto the, this mounted setup in your car, drive for wherever you need, take it off, put it on your holster, and you're good to go. It's an insanely versatile system, and they've really thought of everything. So now that we kind of have our heads around what options are here and what these products are, let's talk about how to actually mount them. So for instance, let's set up the uh, inside the waistband setup. So first of all, you can adjust your belt loop cant. Uh, all you do is flip this thing all the way down, and these clips come out, and you can move them wherever you want, which is a really, really smooth setup. Um, and then this is where all the magic happens. This is where the actual shell can clip on. So this is just kind of a cover for my, my hookups. I'm gonna slide this down and slide this off. So let's take the Glock 19 shell here. This is a full shell, meaning that it can come into two different pieces for different uh, options, however you wanna mount it. So we're gonna actually take just the half shell. Um, on the side here, we've got just a couple clips that we wanna remove. And then there's normally one right here as well. And uh, you've got an open and a close right here telling you which way to slide them. So I'm gonna open it, so I'm gonna slide it down. And you can see they come into two pieces. So all we need is this front piece. Uh, and then we also need a trigger guard here. Here's that trigger guard. All we need to do is just slide that into the grooves here. And it locks into place. And then I've just got a notch here, which I can take this little twist lock again, slide it on, and lock it into place. Okay, and then on the side of this shell is uh, two little openings. And then we have those attachments right there. So I'm just gonna slide this right onto those notches, and then I'm gonna take my cover that I had, go back onto it, take another of these little twist locks. As you can see, I have a little notch there and this twist lock can slide right on it, and then twist it shut. So, uh, there we have it, this Glock, Glock 19, Boom, and we're all set up for inside the waistband holster. Another thing that's really cool about this setup is uh, I can adjust the retention completely toollessly. So I've got this set up to about where I like it in terms of retention, but say I wanted this a little bit tighter. I've got a retention screw right here, and basically all I have to do is take off one of these twist locks, and on these twist locks, there's actually a, there's a little square piece at the top there. And with that square piece, I can just insert it into the retention area, and then I'm gonna tighten this up, I don't know, 
a couple notches, just like that. And then I'll just throw this back on here. And all of a sudden, oh, I have a lot more retention. So really cool. I love how everything is toolless. You guys might've remembered on my review of the Black Arch holster a while ago, I loved how modular that was, but the big difference is that required tools. You still needed a screwdriver, a drill. This, everything you need is right here. I can't emphasize that innovation enough. Okay, so let's say I wanted to take this Glock 19 and now carry it appendix style. So how simple is that? We're just gonna, we're gonna take off this twist lock, take off this cover, and this whole thing will just raise out. I'm gonna take out the gun. I've got my appendix style here. I'm just gonna put this shell onto the appendix grooves. And then this time, instead of just using the normal cover, I've actually got an appendix cover here with a, with a little belt clip you can see right there. So same exact style as it's gonna slide on. And then I'm gonna take a twist lock and lock that into place. And now I can take my Glock, carry this on the appendix style with a belt clip right there. I've still got my same retention because it's the same shell. It's just a different backer now. Now let's also say maybe I'm going to the range. I want to practice some USPSA style or something like that. And I want to use a, an over the waistband paddle. So all I'm going to do is again, untwist this twist lock, slide this cover off, pull out the shell. And then I need to actually turn this back into a full shell. So I'm gonna take off this other side twist lock, take out the trigger guard and put on the other half shell to make this back into a full shell. Okay, twist lock them together. Now on the back of this full shell, you can see there's this little notch right here, this little grooved notch. Uh, and what that's gonna do is allow me to hook it up to the paddle. So say I've got the paddle and it's, you know, it's threaded on my belt or whatever, on the side of the paddle is just a little depressible button right there. So I'm just gonna take this piece, hold that button in, and then at any angle I want, I'm set up. So at any point I can take the gun holster completely off by depressing that button, set it where I want. Say I want to can it super far forward, I'm just gonna depress that button, put it in at that angle, and we're set. It doesn't rotate, it just stays there. How? innovative is that seriously it's really cool it's really fast completely toolless like i can't say how much i love this system okay so last thing is i want to show you guys how simple it is to switch out gun frames okay so check this out i've got the glock all rigged up on the inside the waistband holster say that uh you know it's a really hot day i'm wearing a tight t-shirt i just i can't conceal glock 19 so i want to go to something a little bit smaller so i've got my secondary my springfield xds here and i want to switch out the shell so again i'm just going to take this twist lock off pull this cover down this comes right off and then i've got uh, the shell for my xds throw that on those ridges throw this cover back on and XDS goes in. It's that simple to completely switch out a different gun. So you can have a shell for each one of your different carry guns, and uh, depending on what you wanna carry that day, you don't have to buy new holsters. Once you have these shells, you can switch them across all of them. So you have a shell, you now have an inside the waistband, an appendix, an over the waistband, a mountable holster, uh, regardless of what gun you're carrying. So in theory, I obviously love this holster. It works flawlessly, it's toolless, it's super quick to change everything out, and uh, it's comfortable. These neoprene things are incredibly comfortable. They're breathable. Um, I have no complaints as far as theory, but how does the thing actually carry? So let's check out what it looks like, how it draws, and how these guns fire out of the holster. All right, so I've got the XDS all rigged up, appendix carry. I've got the Glock rigged up is in the waistband, kind of four o'clock on my waist. Uh, I just want to see how they draw. You can kind of see, you know, my shots and everything like that. Uh, but the biggest thing is just drawing and firing uh, as well as reholstering. So. Let's, let's try it out. Glock first. Uh, keep in mind, by the way, of course, you can switch these around. You can switch the different shells. I just did both of these for these for, for the sake of time, basically. So let's do it.
Okay, now let's try out the XPS pulling from appendix. That draw is insanely clean. I love it. Uh, I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but the draw feels incredible. I've got that thing tuned to where I like it on retention. Of course, you can add more, you can add less, uh, but man, it's clean. So now I'm just gonna have a little bit of fun out here and uh, see you back at the, at the table. I've been doing so many reviews on subpar products lately that it is so refreshing to do an insanely positive review. I can't give this holster system enough thumbs up. I genuinely mean that. I'm not sponsored by these guys. This is not a paid endorsement. Literally, I love this holster. I, I could not be more excited about this holster, and I, I genuinely mean that. Uh, so, Alien Gear Shapeshift Modular Holster Starter Kit is a hundred dollars. A hundred bucks and you get all this stuff. That absolutely blows my mind. And then of course you can pick up different uh, shells and stuff to you know match all your guns. This is the only holster system you need, genuinely. I'm so stoked on this holster. A uh, hundred bucks. All of Alien Gear's information and the link and everything is down in the description below. Make sure to check them out. Uh, tell them green light shooting sent you. I, I'm, yeah, I like this thing. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below if you've used this thing or you know your overall thoughts on it. Uh, what's your favorite holster? All that good stuff. Share this video if you think someone else might enjoy it. Subscribe to the channel. We've got like daily videos lately. Uh, lots of content coming your way. Hit that like button and we'll see you next time on Greenlight Shooting. Thanks so much for watching.